The greatest podcast in the world. The greatest podcast in the world. Chicken and boy bands. Friday nights. Rules that were available. Rules that were available. Friday nights. Rules that were available. Portly Gentlemen's Podcasts. We do. It's time for part two. It's time for part two of the Portly Gentlemen Podcast. Edition try number whatever it is. Oh, we're going to have a good time tonight. That is all right, all right, all right. Everybody's getting down. Kaelin took a long break. Took a long break. I'm pretty sure that it was having a wake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what he was doing. Took a long break. And now we're back. Everybody knows that it's good in the sack. Oh, yeah. And never work because it took a long break. Took a long break. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Nice. You. Nick is still here. All right. What's the, uh, who's got the next, uh, or who's got the topic of the CV? Yeah, so Biggie, let's hear yeah. it, buddy. All right, so Orbiton Bridge. It's like this bridge in Scotland. Um, and this is can woman. You, can you say it properly first? Like we have to get the actual pronunciation right, right? Yeah, it's Orbiton. The one with the dog? Come on. Oh, Robert Thorne. <laughs> it's the Orton Bridge. Thank you, Mick. <laughs> the I don't know what he's bridge. talking about. Go on, Biggie. You can do it better than anybody, mate. So, there's a place called Dumbarton in Scotland where this lady's, like, this Orbiton Bridge is. And this is a woman, like, like recounting her day near Orbiton Bridge. It's like something overcame Bonnie as soon as we approached the bridge, says Mrs. McKinnon. At first she froze, but then she became possessed by a strange energy and ran and jumped right off the apartment. And so she like just jumped off the bridge. A bewitched oh, dog. Lured... Her, she jumped off the bridge? Uh, her dog. The her dog, dog jumped off. A bewitched dog. Do you know which bridge you're talking about? It sounds like a scene from the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Lost a lot of good beds. Best friends there. <laughs> her, her dog is like... Man's finest lost to that bridge. <laughs> that one dog is one of like hundreds <laughs> that have like just jumped off that bridge, themselves off that bridge into the can, rocks below. Can we actually so, just establish, was there a portly gentleman walking that dog at the time? No, it was an old lady, man. a portly gentle lady. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Going to buy a chook because some fucking nobleman stole a chook. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Does this line up with the same timeline as Sir Francis Bacon? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like it started, this was this was more recently, but it apparently started in the nineteen fifties when the stone structure was first built. Um, Is that when the bridge was built. Yeah, in the 1950s. Oh, fuck, there you go. I thought it was a really old bridge. Yeah, yeah, like no. Like 1940s. Yeah, seems like a young bridge. <laughs> Something real old, like 40s. It seems like a yeah, young bridge. This, this I don't know. It, didn't it, actually understand bridges until the 50s, so. Yeah. Oh, that's what it, it was. It was their oldest bridge. That's where the old thing yeah. came from. Oh. Yeah. 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 Local research, <laughs> 300 dogs had sailed off the bridge, and... Oh, that's uh, a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot. I'm some say it could be as high as 600, and at least 50 dogs have said to have died. Um, so what? 250 so, have survived. Yeah. No, no. 50 have died. So, like, yeah. Like, 250. 300, have, 250. Yeah. So, what the yeah, fuck? 250 are, dogs survived. How the fuck did they survive that? How big is this bridge? Is this like a... It's a, it's a small a, bridge, bro. It's their first bridge. It's a relative... <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the that? fucking... Oh, how big is the bridge? Can we get some, can we get some bridge... Can we get some bridge... Can we get some bridge... Like, whatever. Like, specifics here? What are yeah. we talking about? I'm looking at a picture of it now, man. I reckon it's maybe... 
<laughs> does, that, does it have any... Uh... It's a big bridge. No, it's a small bridge, but it's like, it's what's on the bottom, man. It's all rocks and shit, you know? There's no yeah, water. Right. What was the bridge called again? <laughs> it's in a ravine. Uh, Oberton. Oberton. No, that's not right. It's more of a Scottish... Oberton. 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 Uh, yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, see, this is what I've been waiting for. Why weren't you using that voice to start off with, Biggie? Fuck's sake. Hey, can we just get a Scottish narrative all over this? Yeah, Hang can on, I have an um, entire story in Scottish voice? Just sleep right off the bridge. I don't know. Nobody really knows why they do it. Some say, now some say, and this is just rumour, <laughs> that a set of members in the gorge may drive the dogs into a woman. All the explanations take on more of a paranormal tone. The bridge's location, hush, lush, and sometimes still, fits the description of what the pagan Celts called a thin place, a mesmerizing spot where heaven and earth overlap. People of Dunbar are very superstitious. Yeah, well done, buddy. That was good. That's what, yeah. If you just started out with that, I would have believed it 100% straight off the bat. I'd be like, yep, those bloody, suit, like, mystic, whatever, mystery prone Celts. I've got to be honest, it's really hard to concentrate when I've got a fucking naked Nick in the corner of my fucking screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> just playing yeah, to I've, got a, background. Um, I've got a, a picture of the bridge. Yeah, yeah, put it in the background, it though. It's not big, eh? Hang on, yeah. Can yeah. you make that other Mick look at it in his screen? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> the bridge, <though>. <laughs> I actually don't know how to shut that down now, so... <laughs> so that's just how we have to stay like this. <laughs> Forever. Hang on. Yeah, close that page, mate, and just go back to the other tab. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh. All right. I don't know what I did, but yeah. All right. Sorry. Keep going, Biggie. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, man. Like, there hasn't been like any real investigations done into it. It's just like this old myth that well, apparently. I got a really good one about that bridge. Yeah. So a lot of dogs have died. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, there was one around 1980s, 1990s. Um, a guy walked up to that bridge with his child, and um, the he's child just decided to proclaimed that he was possessed and stuff, but he just picked up his child and threw him off the bridge or her. Really? Not sure. Yeah. But he actually threw the child off and he's like, had like just a full blank of it all and was just like, what the fuck sort of deal? And claimed that he was like possessed. Like he just, it wasn't him that did it. And he pretty much like fucking catapulted this child, his own child, at that bridge. Yeah. 1994, bro. Paranoid. <laughs> There you go. Kevin, for his two week old son, you are fine. Yeah. To his Threw death. Him off her, man. Because he believed that his son was an incarnation of the devil due to a birthmark. Oh, fair point, man. Fair point. He chose I the mean, Probably a pretty bad birthmark. Must have been. He chose the location due to its association with dark spirits going back to the Druid days. Following his act of murder, Moy then attempted to commit suicide several times by jumping off the bridge, slashing his wrists, but he was detained and placed in a mental health hospital. So that kind of debunks anything like he was a schizophrenic and yeah. he's certainly a crazy person. Wasn't he like like he was completely normal until he fucking walked across that bridge and then just No, he was schizophrenic. Was he? Did did it say that? No, he said he was a paranoid schizophrenic. So, yeah. but but the mystery still remains about the dogs. Yeah, 
Yeah, that Dude, was the whole thing, right? Three hundred <laughs> dogs is a lot like, of fucking like dogs. Just because some stupid human <laughs> decides that they're gonna like, oh, I'll get on this. Like dogs are kind of like kids. Dogs are people mm. too, right? <laughs> but, no. Some people say that. Three hundred dogs is a lot of dogs. Just, like, I'm, I'm some people do say that, and those people so many to be times that and, bridge. And I've never seen her like have an inkling of jumping off the fucking thing. What? Like I've never seen a dog even think about jumping off a bridge. There was like, yeah. no, no, no. oh, and they like, definitely but, think about it. But like the thing is, is there people they're... throwing frisbees off this bridge? <laughs> what's the history behind the bridge like what is, is there the... a frisbee factory on the lower side of the bridge on the western side <laughs> on the opposite side they're just testing their frisbees and, uh, dogs yeah it's a frisbee like... testing area <laughs> another one bites the dust yeah i would say so So there's actually footage on uh, youtube of um really fucking crazy footage of uh this deer there's like people are just driving by in a car and they're like, what the fuck? They're out on a bridge and this deer is running side by side along the car yeah. on the bridge. And then the deer just jumps straight off the middle of this bridge. And it must be like a 40 meter high bridge. Really? Yeah, you can look it up right now. Deer jumping off bridge. So what ha- Did it live? The deer? Yeah. No. It fucking died, bro. Like it's like a huge bridge. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Does the footage include the death of the deer? No, because they're in a car. <laughs> you see it jump off the side of a fucking bridge, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, maybe it was picked up by a UFO. Like, <laughs> I so. That's all we can say. Really. Pretty <laughs> sure it fucking died on impact, man. Yeah. Is Biggie wearing a kilt? Oh, it looks like it. it. Looks like he was pulling it down too. Or up, probably, I guess. You're gonna tell the story. Being a kilt. But yeah, like what I've read about that bridge is fucking intense. Um, and like this like uh Biggie who said it was Druid? That was yeah. Biggie. One of the theories yeah. article I'm reading is that it's like got it, uh, like apparently it's a place the druids used to go to because it's like a space between heaven and earth or whatever. I'm yeah. not sure if there's more to that story or what, but yeah, apparently that's what like some people in the area say. You'd have to be yeah, it's like, a thin place, and so like all cultures have this myth of like the thin place, and it's like I'm pretty sure that's why we have sacred sacred areas all around the world so like if you look at uh uluru or if you go to south america and look at um uh you know like the uh, lots of places had had these <laughs> wow that was so specific ck other, you know, other places i was trying to i was trying to <laughs> think of like, the gate there's this places, gate there's you know? a specific you they're just, just gotta look and you'll find them. They're everywhere. Those fucking It's like Quetzalcoatl's gate or something. Uh, they are know. everywhere. There's like so many key points. I like. Yeah. So like there are the, all these areas around the world that we like consider or like that historically have been considered to be like where the veil is thinner. And it's like it like and like I think you boys have been to one of them. Like when when we were up at um the north north end of Fraser Biggie. And when we had the uh cacti trip. Yeah. And like up being up there, bro, like when you're in a certain those kind of like there's certain spots, man. Like I've done cacti now a bunch of times, dude. And like it's never been like that before. Yeah, really? Never, bro. Never, never, not even close, man. Like, not even slightly close, man. It's an entirely different thing. But in that place, at that time, now you can say maybe it was the people we were with or maybe it was because it was the first time, maybe it was because of the dosage and whatever. But I, th- I think, I genuinely think that there are, like, there are places that you can be in that whatever. You could, you could even just say, if you were going to approach it from, like, a purely scientific um, perspective, it's just like, oh, well, you are then it's because you're so overwhelmed by the situation that you're in 
you know, like by the beauty, the natural beauty of that, of that area or whatever, that maybe then that becomes more likely that you're going to have these say out of body experiences or that weird things might occur because you're so overwhelmed by those things. But I don't know, man. Like it's questionable. Yeah. I don't know. There would be research into like, um, like, but not all those places where they said to have like that thin veil either are like hospitable, lovely places. Like this place but, is like gorgeous. Yeah. What's crazy about it, though, is the animal. Like you, yeah. you hear about these places, you never really hear about it affecting animals the way this fucking brute stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that dogs. dogs are just jumping off them, man. But like yeah. the weird thing for me is specifically dogs. I would understand if it was like maybe other animals as well. Didn't you say there was but a like deer? specifically dogs? No, that was a different story he was telling. Oh, okay. That was a different story. Oh, but, yeah, but like, but all dog. dogs, though. Crazy. Hmm. But like, so there's like, fucking homeless people cooking fucking beef jerky underneath it or something. Oh, yeah, there it is. A bit of spam yeah, on sure. your fucking toast, mate. Mm-mm. But like, is there no difference between like a Labrador and a Labradoodle? Like, they're both just jumping off that bridge. Yeah, it's the canine in them it calls out. The wolves don't. Like a, yeah, like a wolf. But I don't, oh, I don't think there's any wolves in fucking what would make, uh, Scotland. What would make them? jump off a fucking bridge, you know? Like, I, I understand, like, some breeds, man, they'll just fucking, they see something, they'll just fucking launch themselves at it. Well, I but th- this is like... I think you are onto it, though, with the... um, with the. I think you are. Piece, you know? No. I think you're onto it with the, that fucking <laughs> no, I think you're onto it with the, with the actual bridge itself. Like, there must be something in the bridge's structure that means that like maybe there's a a certain amount of openings that as a dog is in its stride as it's galloping along they're like running along running along and then it just sees the fucking gap and then yeah because there's a frisbee factory you know what i mean (laughs) (laughs) is there a gap have you looked at the bridge you should pull up an image of the bridge I pulled up one before. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that exciting. <laughs> I don't know. That was a fucking... Like, not was... even a human. It was a humanoid. <laughs> oh, fucking... It was Amy. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, still travelling in Mackay. Fucking... Uh, that, um, fucking... That bridge was actually built in the 1890s, man. It was completed That's now. what I thought. It was an old bridge. 1940. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, you, what? That, I mean, if if my dog was going to commit suicide, I feel like that's the bridge I would want it to do it on. Yeah, <laughs> like right the bridge. yeah it's a self fulfilling prophecy. Like, yeah, I feel like they people take their people suicidal depressed, dogs there. Yeah, they feel, yeah, a lot of people with depressed dogs go to that area. I feel like <laughs> let's just go for a walk, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and the the real question is the. Uh, Fucking bridge has like all this history. Who the fuck keeps walking their dog over? It's like, you know, yeah, dude, tempting. Go a couple much? of blocks up the fucking road and go over the other bridge. Like, yeah, one of the theories, man, is that like because it's a big ravine, there's a bunch of like dead mammals and stuff like that, like stuck in there. And so, like, the smell's just wafting up over the bridge, and dogs are just like, gotta fucking check what that is and diving off over without like looking first. But yeah. what dog does that, man? Stupid, man? What dog does that? Like, my dog... My dog would run after food. Yeah, yeah, that's your like, dog, bro. Your dog's like, She would run around. Bro. She wouldn't just launch herself off a fucking bridge. I yeah, lived with man. dogs most of my life, and none of them would have done that. <laughs> most dogs would not do that. Off a bridge? I can't. I can't think of any dogs that would. Biggie, yours might be an exception, but <laughs> I would almost a hundred percent agree with that. <laughs> Love the Any... statistics on what dogs have done it. Yeah, that's what, what that's what breed. I'm saying. Like, how yeah, many Jack breed. Russells did it? Yeah, yeah. How many Scottish Terriers have? Fucking and also, lost are they going to the police every time this happens? Like, is there an investigation? 
There's a there's a dude in it's like, Scotland Yard like on a it. toll road on one end of the bridge, and he's like, "Oh fuck, here we go." <laughs> <Another toll walk." laughs> he's like, "Are we gonna see?" <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. All How right. many dogs do you have to lose to <laughs> put up a fucking net beside the bridge? You know? Yeah, or or just put a no <laughs> dogs so policy sign. No dogs cross the bridge. But... Yeah. One net, that's all it takes. Or just, like, block up all the fucking jumping points, maybe? I don't or know. Or just put up like... a fucking sign. It says no no dogs on the bridge. No dogs. No well, dogs on the bridge. It's a classic stone bridge, And then man. they just hope... There's no holes. Holes. It's a so classic fucking stone bridge that, like... There's not holes. Yeah, I saw the so bridge. Fucking I saw open. the bridge. No, it's a completely open bridge. Like, you can just walk yeah, from the yeah, fucking road off the edge. It's got walls. Little fucking oh, walls, but it's just very small if there's any. It looks like it's basically road straight up to the edge, man. I actually didn't see a photo of the bridge. Did you guys go look at the yeah, go look at the photo, man? You should you should actually just fucking share. There is a photo of a dog uh... jumping off that bridge. <laughs> oh, there fucking better be. What's it called again? Oberton Bridge. I don't I don't want to look it up, you know. I just my fingers. There's definitely a decent, like, size fucking wall. It's, 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 it, it's hard it's to see from the photos. Wall, of the it's a classic fucking stone wall all the way along the cut. Yeah. yeah, but how how tall is that fucking wall, bro? It's at least like, it's almost shoulder high, bro. Bullshit. Nah, it's not that high. It's fucking waist high. Shoulder Wait, high. Is this fucking... the bridge? At least yeah. 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 yeah, that's it. Yeah, Oberton Bridge, yeah. I like it's... the cannons. Stop zooming in, just go to a different photo, bro. It's like, you're not going to get any more detail just from zooming in to that yeah. same photo. Oh, There's other good. photos, man. I'll tell you what, that bridge is portly. That is portly it is a portly smart. bridge. Yeah. yeah like, well... if my dog was to jump off a bridge, that's the fucking bridge. Yeah, that's it's got like bridge for nipples it. and shit. Is that the backside? Um, no, that's not the same. There we go. There we go. That's a fucking huge bridge to jump. It's a big. Off. That's a big old drop too for fucking two hundred and fifty yeah. dogs to have survived. Yeah. yeah, but dogs always land on their feet, though, right? <laughs> I that's don't know cats, if that's bro. Dogs, that's bro. Cats. <laughs> dogs are opposite, man. They land on their fucking heads. Scottish dog suicide bridge. I love that. That's one of the search terms. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish dog suicide bridge. I can't believe it's an actual thing. A dog suicide bridge. Yeah, is it, is it only that? Scottish dogs? Like, if you take an English dog there, they're just like, what the fuck? I'm not like, gonna kill what? myself here. Yeah, what? Oh, you want that, me to piss what? on this? Fucking own it, cunt? Like, what do you want me to do here? <laughs> yeah, why are Scottish dogs so susceptible to killing themselves? I think that's the bigger question, really, isn't it? It's like, why is it that Scottish dogs oh, are just so depressed oh. they'll just jump off any fucking bridge they can? That's probably the only bridge in Scotland, cut. Their diet, their diet the is fucking haggis, you know? That's they actually... fucking jump off a bridge. Why they eat fucking haggis? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. It's like, haggis yeah. is great. You can have a treat if they're having haggis. Oh, whatever haggis is great from the only fucking vegan on the channel. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Wait, stand up, vegan. I feel that is fully made. Let's up. just, let's just see meat. if you're fucking really big. <laughs> this stomach is fucking plant based, mate. Hey, Biggie, will you eat some haggis? Given the opportunity, I would need it now. Why not? I'll make a, I'll, I'll make a haggis. I'll make it really good too. I'm a good cook, man. Yeah. I'll make a good. I'll make a good haggis for you. You really would, but I don't want a haggis. You want a haggis? You just said that haggis was good. Wait, what if I? What if I? What if I um, raised a, a a lamb in absolute love? Like this thing lived in my house and fucking like ate off my table. You know, like this thing had. I wouldn't eat that cunt, man. Yeah, you I wouldn't eat. That. No. Okay. I would. I would eat the I don't shit out of I don't want to eat something bathed in your love, Mick. You're a sick fuck. That's the like... point. It's a marination. Uh, I love it's you. a marination process. Oh, exactly. <laughs> marination. Okay, just give us one of your toes, Finn. I just want to taste a bit of fucking human flesh. I don't know what this... 
Yeah, I feel like you've been baked in Mickey's love. You've had a fucking great life. Like, it's no big deal if I cut your toes off. Oh, it reminds me of sticky blood. I don't get the toes bit. I don't what? get that. No, I'm talking about a lamb. I'm not going to cut up my own son, bro. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, or cutting your own toes off? Is that like what was happening? I don't know. Like, what the no, fuck? No, no, I Biggie? was cutting my son's toe off in uh, Biggie's scenario. Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck were you talking about, Biggie? That's not all we were saying, man. It's sort of killed the animal loop. You like bake it in your love. And I was saying, like, I don't want something that's been baked in your love. Oh, hang on, Biggie. I, I think I'm the- where you're getting confused. You know, like when you kill an animal to eat it, it's not like killing a human. <laughs> That's the do you, you know that's do you get that? Different. Do you understand yeah. that? <laughs> boys, I gotta go. Oh, you really though? Past my bedtime. So. You really though, Kalen? Oh, Kalen, yeah. you fucking yeah. Yo. You're the one that. Why don't you go so and find a Scottish it. bridge and jump the fuck off? Cause you're a dog. Gun. <laughs> Got any recommendations there? Like, can we use that Rick as can we use Colin. that f- that like audio clip just there <laughs> as like the intro to every one of our fucking <laughs> podcasts, please? Can we, can you clip that, Mick? You as the official self-described editor. Can you please I will clip do my that? Done just to uh, make that a clip. Yes. I make will. that like a button that we can hit at any time. <laughs> Kill and find the fucking you can't do it again. You guarantee you can't do it again. It it, it only happens once perfectly, and it happened perfectly. But... Did nail it. All right. It did hurt a little bit, but that's okay. I'll oh, get you'll get over it. No. Yeah, but also, I'm it's sorry though. It's I am puss sorry. Puss. Sorry, Kevin. It's, it's, it's a fucking puss puss. Hang out with the boys for a little bit. You guys are just dribbling. I'm fucking tired. Oh yeah. All right. You don't like dribbling, do you, mate? I just want hard facts, brothers. Yeah. All right. We talked about our bridge. Scary. I'm not taking my dog there. <laughs> For dogs? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm definitely oh, not scared of that bridge. <laughs> dude threw his fucking child off it too, you know? Yeah, yeah so- one one guy that thought he was a, a psychopath. Dog in the I bet you more than one psychopath has jumped a, a kid off the Brisbane Bridge, bro. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got a problem with dogs here. Yeah, yeah. The dog issue is the issue. <laughs> All right. Catch you later, Caleb. See you, boys. Love you, bro. Yeah. Much love, brother. Much love. <laughs> the greatest podcast in the world. The greatest podcast in the world. Rules that were available. Rules that were available. Friday nights. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rules that were available. Portly gentlemen's podcast.